What is up guys, this is TSD's Reviews and so back here with another video. Today I will be talking about Android 12.1 on my Pixel 4a. So I know it has been a long time ever since Android 12 came, uh, Android 12 Beta 2 came out and that was because I wanted to make sure that I'm not missing anything. That's why I postponed the video and originally I was thinking of making that video like maybe two weeks after the beta uh, 2.1 was released however uh, in between I had some stuff to do and I had to go for vacation so that's why I decided to you know make this video today in order to not delay it any further so uh, now again just like the Android uh, my, my video previous video which I made on Android 12 beta 1 I won't be talking about every single feature that's available because there are already dedicated channels out there like Zolotech and in-depth tech reviews um, those, are, those are two of the best channels I've ever seen for you know covering software updates and all the features so I would definitely recommend you checking them out if you want to see any more details so let's talk about um, you know with a few features that I've noticed so starting off with the main features the biggest uh, focus of beta 2 was animations and let me tell you something they did a pretty good job now I'm talking about in terms of uh, you know just general scrolling and you know the sc scrolling through the your home screen. They have made the, uh, improved the animations quite a bit and also you know uh, dragging down notifications. Uh, the animations have improved quite a lot and consistent. I have noticed one thing that they've actually killed that bouncy animation when you scroll uh, within the home screen like that. And I feel that is a great thing because like initially that came with Android 11 and I personally didn't like it that much. So I'm happy Google re removed this, but you never know Google may add it again. But one of the biggest improvements that they made with the quick setting panel is now accessing it and scrolling through it. It's just easy. All right. You want to exit out of it is pretty easy. And uh, <clears throat> They've actually removed that unnecessary bar that used to appear earlier, which is pretty good. And I'm pretty happy about this. In general, they have made quite a few improvement in animations in some areas or the other. I personally, right now, at the moment, I don't exactly remember where they've made the changes. But one area that I really noticed that improved the animation was YouTube. Now, I don't know if this is with the beta version or this is just an update of YouTube, but I'll just play a video just to show you. So for example, I'm playing this video of mine, Android 12 Beta 1. So basically, uh, whenever you, usually in Android 11 and Android 12 Beta 1, whenever you just, you know, exit it out of YouTube, it would just, uh, first of all, the video would just disappear and then that picture in picture would be enabled. However, with the Android 12 Beta 2, or 2.1 I am not exactly sure they have made it very much like iOS so I'll just show you as you can see it just minimized to in that small area and you can even squeeze it it has the rounded corners just like on iOS and you can even you know put them to the side uh, the video and it's pretty responsive there are a few bugs here and there but like initial impressions, I'm really happy about this because this is one of the biggest uh, features lacking on Android. And I really wish that Android would co Google would copy this feature from Apple because I mean, I really admire this feature. It looks really good. And even you can now increase the size of your uh, picture in picture. So that is insanely good. And also if you're suppose, let's turn on auto rotate. And if you want to watch it, let's say in landscape mode, can you exit out of that? It would just show, uh, show you an animation like that, which is pretty good. These are just one of the areas where Google has um, made some improvements in terms of animations. There are a few of them too. I don't exactly remember. Again, I kind of forgot. Apologies. But overall, I'm uh, the pretty good things that have come with Android 12 Beta 2. Uh, however, there are some things that I have to talk about why like some things that you might encounter which I'll just talk about but some other features they have changed are let's see it's the it's the not the quick setting tiles so as you can see they have made the tiles 
more rounder uh, hopefully you can see that so they've made it a lot more rounder which is pretty good from the square tiles because now it matches the overall theme of android 12 and also they have um, made a introduced this um, android 12 material U theme now so like whenever you change your wallpaper it will automatically just pick the color without interfering or overshadowing any colors google's machine learning or whatever they it recognizes which color is the best one to pick without uh, oversaturating or you know messing up the entire theme it chooses the colors pretty wisely and looks amazing so i'll just change the wallpaper in front of you so let's say i choose a uh, different wallpaper let's see it's opening it's a bit buggy sometimes that's the problem with the android or beta 2 yeah now you can see all right let's uh let's see let's put this one all right yeah let's put this one home screen all right let's check this out the colors changed slight peach color something like that i don't exactly know if you can see that so as you can see that the color has changed and looks really nice so let's say let's just close the phone and you will notice that this clock is also slightly uh, has, has changed the color from green to this pink color actually yeah this is pink my bad so it chooses the colors really wisely and it makes sure that the colors go really well with the overall theme so that's a really big improvement i've noticed and it looks really good i'm it's really promising and i'm really excited for it however there are a few bugs with this one of them being that it ne it doesn't all the time choose the correct color uh, like you have to toggle on or off the dark dark thing in order to you know uh, get the correct color sometimes the colors won't change so when you to toggle off dark theme as you can see it just changed the color i think the system recognized that this is the best color for this and not the pink so it's light very light blue and i think this goes better so this is one of the few bugs that i've noticed with uh, this android 12 beta 2 uh, but yeah this is to be expected with beta uh, betas so it's nothing crazy and uh, there are more improvements in terms of in terms of networks i have noticed a big improvement now if you've seen my previous video i've complained about the fact that the mobile data doesn't always work whenever i've turned it on and that came with that bug came with i guess the february uh, security patch but now i don't face that issue at all it is very consistent and it works really well the mobile data i have i never had any issues with it ever since i've upgraded to android 12.1 so i definitely um i have to thank google for this they've done an incredible job finally they fixed one of the bugs and also one of the biggest bugs i've ever faced ever since i got this pixel 4a was with the camera bug i've talked about this in my previous videos also a lot of times that i whenever you delete a photo you you notice this animation um the animation doesn't always work the camera app freezes whenever you delete a photo now it works just fine i have never noticed any kind of this uh, any of this issue anymore and that's a i haven't noticed this issue anymore which is a really good thing and uh, i have to say thank you google for fixing this issue ever since android came android 11 came to pixel 4a it just made things worse and i'm really happy happy google is kind of looking into these bugs which came with android 11 and hopefully when the final version comes out all of these bugs will be removed so that's the good thing about android 12 overall i mean in terms of features and stuff i'm pretty happy with android 12 really good stuff to you know see that there are some broken things in there that they have to fix uh guys there's one more thing i forgot to mention i just realized while i was editing i did not mention the quick settings for connections so whenever you click on this you can now access your uh, mobile data as well as your wi-fi now i feel that is the worst way of implementing this i don't know why google did this i mean the original you know separate toggle for wi-fi and the separate one for uh mobile data was just perfect because now you cannot toggle off the wi-fi sometimes you just want to use your mobile data you can't do that all right 
And that's one of the biggest problems I've faced with this. I just hope that Google reverts back to, you know, having the individual tiles for Wi-Fi and mobile data because this one really sucks in my opinion. It has no purpose. Seriously, if someone's watching from Google, please fix this, all right? I mean, I personally really hate this. I have to say that Android for the beta 2 hasn't been that stable. It, the apps, like this beta has given me a very tough time ever since I've updated to Android 12 beta 2. Uh, the biggest problems I faced are the apps crashing on a regular basis, specifically the YouTube studio. Like you cannot imagine how many times I have reinstalled this, uninstall and then reinstall this app because it just keeps crashing every single time. I have no idea why this is happening. Ever since I updated to Android 12 beta 2, it has just given me so many problems with the apps. They just, you know, crash and sometimes they don't even respond. Like for, for example, whenever I open an app, as you can see on the screen, whenever I try to open any kind of app, it doesn't open. All right. And the splash screen appears after let's say five seconds and it never opens up that's for all the apps so i have to restart the phone again and again in order to fix this issue but that issue again arises every single time so uh that's one of the bugs i faced the other one is the battery life which is again horrible on my pixel 4a really really bad battery life i just i have to charge this phone twice in a day and still i can't get through the entire day which is really bad but again this is a beta version so you can't really complain that much yes again google did release beta 2.1 it didn't fix many of those issues um but let's just see all right i'm waiting for beta 3 hopefully we get some big improvements in terms of overall stability just in case you know you're thinking of updating to android 12 my biggest advice i have to give you is that update to android 12 betas only and only if your pixel 4 your whatever pixel you have is not your main working phone all right if you have your pixel as a you know a secondary phone or as a backup phone then yes by all means go for it you're gonna love it however on your main device do not update to android 12 i'm telling you it's gonna give you a horrible time that's for all the betas all right now of course beta 3 is about to come anytime now let's say i guess next week or i'm not exactly sure am i i'm just guessing but uh i'm pretty sure that you know things will get better but however if you haven't updated to android for the betas and you're thinking of doing it i'm just giving you a heads up you know you're gonna face a lot of issues with the beta versions that's the part of it but i'm just telling you it's gonna be pretty bad all right that's one thing you have to take keep in mind before you know updating to android 12 and of course if you wish to downgrade you are going to lose all of your data so you have to back up every single thing uh, but again i have i don't wish to downgrade to android 11 because android 11 was already so bad in my opinion like except for the battery life and some sort of stability android 11 was pretty terrible in my opinion so that's why i'm you know staying with uh, android 12 betas they have fixed few issues that i'm happy about they have, but however they haven't they still haven't fixed some of the issues i mentioned mentioned so so far like the keyboard haptics you know the overall system haptics they are still giving giving some issues and um, sometimes yes the camera does give me an issue whenever i delete a photo the animation does not show up every single time but again they have kind of sorted out the uh, deleting issue uh, within the camera app so that in that way i'm fine with this you know i'm just hoping they fix the entire thing by the end of beta 4 whenever it comes out so i mean overall listen, listen i'm excited for android 12 all right i'm really excited because this is one of the biggest overhauls that we're going to ever face in a long time i'm really happy about it so there are some mixed opinions out there but but overall i'm pretty you know i'm interested all right since i'm a tech enthusiast i love trying out new things new stuff out there and i'm just waiting for the final version i just can't wait for it all right i'm telling you it's going to be 100 times better than android 11 for sure all right if they fix these issues in betas i'm 100 sure that they're going to kill it with android 12 stable release all right i just can't wait for it that's one of the best features about getting like you know about pixel phones in general you're the first ones to get this so that's a big pretty big win in my opinion so that's pretty much it with this uh, short 
you know video on the Android 12 beta 2 slash 2.1 thank you for watching this video if you have any other questions regarding this do let me know down in the comments and again guys just a reminder uh do watch my videos till the end you know because i've noticed that many people ask me the questions i've already answered in the video so i i'd really recommend you checking the entire video out and still you have any questions hit me up i'll help you whenever you want all right that's my job as a youtube so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video pretty soon peace